Hi everybody, how's it going? This is Javier presenting to you a new series of videos called Practice, Practicing Breathing. And in this video I want to show you three reasons why you should practice breathing if you consider to take charge of your health. So first thing we got to look, before we get into the reasons, we need to understand the factors of breathing. It's not just a matter of breathing in from the nose and breathing out through the mouth. There's a lot of things that we have to also consider. For example, are we breathing from our chest or are we breathing from our abdomen or our bellies? Are we breathing from our mouth? Are we breathing from our nose? Are we breathing from an emotional disturbance like anger, sadness, joy? How is our psychological state? How are we feeling right now? How is our thinking right now? Do you notice the breathing changes of that? Deep and shallow breathing. Are you breathing deeply? Are you breathing, are you breathing just very superficially? And are we using our other muscles to breathe? So we know that the diaphragm is the main muscle to help us inhale and exhale. But there's also other muscles like the chest muscles, some back muscles and even the neck muscles can help us exhale more. And those are things that we need to take into account because those are all things that affect our health, believe it or not. So how conscious breathing helps our health? The main reason is because it's been proven by all these years of research on technical on simple breathing, how it can just fight a lot of diseases. And some of these include, but are not limited, to high blood pressure, diabetes, recovery after heart attacks, anxiety, depression, back pain, asthma, smoking, breathing rehab. So after you went through lung damage, it also helps for the rehab process of that, rehabilitation. So reason one, why we should practice breathing. First, stimulation of the vagus nerve. To put it simply, it balances our parasympathetic system. The parasympathetic system is our state of relax and digest, where we can just stay calm. It's not, it's the opposite of our day-to-day -day life setting activities where we're constantly thinking, we're constantly um, being reactive to things and given stimulus. In this case, it's the opposite. And this is helped by this nerve called the vagus nerve, which is on the brainstem. And it's been researched too by doing five abdominal, deep abdominal breaths. It helps balance and stimulate this relaxing nerve and give you a relaxing experience. Second reason, dynamic balance. We can achieve a state of dynamic balance. You may wonder why am I talking about dynamic balance instead of just balance? Well, balance is just a state of perfection or the middle way, something that we can see of something that's being static. But if we're static, if we're in the middle way and instead of perfection, perfection all the time, we might as well be a corpse because there is no movement going on. There is no richness. There is no life going on. So that's why I put this little example and fulcrum to show. So passive, active, that's the dynamic component. Because we're const there are days that we're happy, there are days that we're angry, there are days that we're sad, there are days that we're in fear. Those are things that actually give us richness in life. And if we learn to breathe, we can actually learn to experience those moments of calmness, even when we're on those extreme uh, states of joy, anger, fear, etc. So it's important for that. That's the second reason. And then the third reason, it is fundamental for mental relaxation. Breathing is the most fundamental practice in every tradition and every practice if you ever want to get into meditation, into relaxation, biofeedback, all kinds of relax, relaxing modes, mind-body work in today's world, 
is going to involve breathing, the essentials of breathing. Every tradition is going to mention it. Every uh, group is going to mention it. So why not just start now? So we need to breathe to be, to be online. So if you're ready to take the next step and you want to try it out, then I invite you to come to the next video and we'll take it from there. Three reasons, three rules on how to practice mindful breathing or just simple breathing. All right, so I'll see you there.